Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's another grey rainy day and I am making kind of a really delicious flatbread. You can call it naan, paratha, actually let's just call it flatbread. I'm making smoked aubergine onion flatbreads. Absolutely delicious, super simple and so full of flavour. But before that, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Let's get cooking. Aubergine flatbread which means we need the aubergine. So first thing I'm going to do is get these oiled and put them in the oven to get it roasting while I prepare the dough. So all that uh, needs to be done is get some baking uh, sheet, get the two aubergines and just make sure that you prick it all over with a knife or a fork or whatever. And I'm just going to get a tiny little bit, a bit of, uh, I'm using sunflower oil and just make sure that you have coated the aubergine really nicely. This will go in a hot oven under a grill for around half an hour and I'll keep turning it every 10 minutes. So these were in the oven for more than 30 minutes. I put it in for 40 minutes and now the skin has kind of nicely burnt and all you need to do is, it's still quite hot, but you can wait to, for it to cool down and just peel off the roasted skin. That's why we were roasting it in the oven. You can do it on the hob, but it does create such a mess that I prefer to do it in the oven, not wasting any bits. Right, so I'm going to just leave this aside and while that is just kind of sitting there cooling down, I'm going to finely chop one onion. A nice hot pan, I'm just going to add a couple of tablespoons of sunflower oil in here and then I'm going to add a teaspoon of mustard seeds and let them kind of heat up and sizzle up before we add the onions. Once you can see they're sizzling up, add the onion and cook just for five minutes. I just want to soften these up, not kind of uh, make them dark golden or anything, just four to five minutes is plenty. While that is cooking, I'm just going to finally chop four garlic cloves. So the onions have softened up. I'm just going to add the garlic. I've just grated it and I'm just going to add one chopped up tomato next. There goes the tomato and I'll give it five minutes. And I'm just going to squeeze it out so I don't waste any of the delicious stuff in there. And then just chop it up because it's already all mushy and lovely and roasted and beautiful. It will not take a second to do that. That's it. So to this uh, onion tomato mix, I'm going to add a few things. So half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of garam masala, and then just give it a mix. And next we add all the mashed up, smoky, delicious, roasted aubergine and then just give it I would say three to four minutes on high heat and then we take it off. Now for the dough I have got here 350 grams of self-raising flour which already includes baking powder and to this I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt also going to add half a teaspoon of garam seeds or rajmine. If you don't have it, you can skip it. But if you have it, please do use. Next, I add half a teaspoon of bicarb of soda. Next, I have here 300 grams of natural yogurt. You can use Greek, sorry, just mix that up. You can use Greek yogurt if that's what you have at home. I always have natural yogurt at home because we use it for Indian food cooking and also just for eating it on its own and then you just give it a mix. It will come together in a minute. And it might appear a bit too sticky, but please do not worry. That is how it should be nice and sticky. And then it will be fine once we leave it to rest for 10 minutes. Mm. 
just knead it for one minute or maybe actually a few seconds is fine basically just bring it together like the chapati dough which you don't have to knead you don't have to knead this either okay in goes just going to cover with the plate and leave it for 10 minutes so it has been uh, 10 minutes i'm going to get this out but at the same time i'm just going to put a bit of flour on the surface now this should make you know five to six uh, breads easily so i am actually just gonna i don't want massive breads i just want kind of um, let's make eight you can make bigger ones then you can make only four but i think they'll be too big so i would recommend uh, making smaller ones so here is the dough and i just want it to be not too thin so that seems about right you can do it with the rolling pin and this should be around three inches big like i said if you want to make bigger ones just portion them out accordingly i'm going to get a pan nice and hot so that's our dough i've got some cheddar cheese and that's our pan getting nice and hot and there is the aubergine smoked aubergine ready for the bread just take a piece of uh, cheddar and grate it thick fine however you like so all i want to do is put a spoonful of aubergine it smells absolutely divine and then i'll just wait for it to bubble up while that one's on the hob i'm just going to roll out one more portion and these are best made fresh so you can kind of make the dough it literally takes a minute to make the dough so i would just make everything fresh i would make the aubergine beforehand if you want to have something prepped for before grate your cheddar and then make them fresh so you can see that it's puffed up on the sides and you can also see that it is all golden on the bottom so i'm just going to put cheddar on top now this is going to go in a hot oven under a really hot grill um, literally for two minutes i have done this before where i've gone in and held the pan with my bare hands so i'm going to be super careful today i'm going to get a cloth just kind of stay around don't go away and it'll take two minutes to melt and make the golden cheese and the bread cook on the outside and just the same exact thing with this one that will give it two minutes for the one that's come out of the oven to sit before i burn my mouth trying to eat it they are really nice at slightly room temperature as well not like cold but a bit at room temperature they are absolutely delicious so if you are making them all together then you want to sit down together and have your meal that's fine too so i'm just going to check if the bottom is oh beauty beauty hot pan incoming i like a bit of heat so i'm just gonna finish it with some chili oil of course okay right it's just manageable now i'm gonna so i've taken over the camera and i've just asked my son to take a quick bite and let me know let me know how it is uh obviously he doesn't want to be on camera which is absolutely fine come on then and what do you think it's really nice nice make it again you like the aubergine well that's a thumbs up from him it's just such a light bread you can see that the dough is really light fluffy cooked inside the aubergine is spiced up and smoky and delicious and then the cheese just finishes it off the chili oil is a must for me but you don't have to put it if you don't want to but whatever you do i will i really really hope that you will try this especially in this season when it's so cold gray and you need some comfort food these breads work perfectly don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you back here very soon with another new recipe thanks bye for now